Hey guys, we're back here on the home farm. Today it's June 12th, 2023. Sitting over the food plot that you've seen in uh, earlier videos that we enhanced, made it a lot bigger this winter into early spring. Took out nine big mature trees, opened up a lot of canopy in here to get better uh, sunlight in here to potentially get better growth. Um, one of the problems why I wanted to make it bigger was we have a pretty high deer density in this area. And because of that, I've had a harder time getting a good quality food source to get last all the way through the hunting season. <clears throat> and when I say that, I mean all the way through January and into spring green up. I'm not just so much worried about the end of deer seasons, January 1st here in Michigan. I want to try and give these deer something to eat to get them through the hardest parts of the winter, which seem to be January and February here in the Midwest where we're located and get them so that they can get to the spring green up in March and April. So by doing so, I was able to come in here, make this food plot way bigger than it was before and to provide more food for the deer. I'm, I just planted soybeans for the second time uh, two days ago on Saturday. And um, the first time I, I planted it, it was, it was a failure. I didn't get enough planted. I was trying to get in here and get it uh, fenced off because I knew I was going to have problems with uh, groundhogs and deer specifically. Uh, I have problems with groundhogs coming in here and just biting them off as soon as they get one, two inches off the ground. They're just mowing them down, killing them right there. Um, we went on vacation. I wasn't able to get a fence up before we left. Everything looked really good before we left the corn, a uh, little tiny corn strip that I got behind me here in the orange fencing uh, over by the uh, shanty. That's kind of for screening, another uh, line of screening to get in and out of there, but also give them some food. Um, that was looking phenomenal. The beans over my left shoulder here were looking phenomenal. Get back from vacation, 90% of it's gone. Um, even the corn, there's a little bit of corn left. I'm trying to salvage it, replanted some, uh, a couple days ago. Also one problem I'm running into this year that I haven't had in the past is the turkeys. We've had turkeys on the property. We haven't had the problems from the turkeys. Uh, I'm guessing we just got a few more birds now than we've had in the past. Uh, we're getting problems with them dust bowling in the plots, just scratching around, even flipping the, the, uh, corn that's growing on its side. So now it's dead. It's no longer rooted into the soil. So that's another problem that we're running into on top of deer and groundhogs. So I've went out and purchased some more snow fence as you see behind me. I'm going to line the entire food plot with snow fence. And I also got some deer repellent uh, banding that will wrap around it as well, which then I will spray every 30 days to try and keep the deer from hopping the fence, getting in here and eating the soybeans. We're gonna see how this works. This is the first time I've ever really tried to fence off a food plot of any sort. Um, fingers crossed it works. We got some money invested in trying to make it work. And obviously we got the time and money invested in the seed. So I'm really excited to show you guys how this all plays out. Hopefully, like I said, fingers crossed, this turns out great. We're going to have a phenomenal fall food plot right here with the shanty right over my shoulder here. This is my favorite spot for my wife and I to sit together. And this is also my wife's favorite spot to sit alone. It's right behind the house. Super easy access. Very convenient. Want to bring it along to you guys as we go through. Uh, as the summer progresses, we'll show you some updates on how this is going. Going to set a... Tacticam reveal camera uh, over my right shoulder facing into the plot. So if anything gets into the plot, hops the fence, gets under the fence, whatever it is, we're going to be able to see what's going on. Maybe we can nip it in the butt depending on what it is. We look forward to uh, seeing the results of all this hard labor. I hope you guys are getting out there and getting your spring plantings and early summer plantings in the ground. Hopefully you got good moisture in your area. And we look forward to bringing it to you. Thanks. Hey guys, back out here on the home farm. September 16th. Got my youngest little helper. Where is she? 
Ah, she's over there checking out the uh, water hole. There's frogs in there. They always like to mess with them. So back out here on the home farm. I uh, was out here a week ago. Uh, my daughter got that first ever deer of her life. A nice big doe. Just checking on the uh, progress of the food plot. Through some winter rye out here about two weeks ago now. It's looking great. Uh, left a little buffer of clover here in between the corn and the blind. And then also where the soybeans are at, a little bit of corn kind of got out here in the plot, which is fine. But man, the deer are just hammering this in here. The brassicas look great. Got a lot of brassicas out there on that outside edge where I didn't have beans. Threw some brassicas inside the uh, beans too. And they're not doing too bad, especially where the deer have just been mowing these leaves off. You can see the deer are just tearing these leaves up. I mean, they're just, I'm getting pictures every single morning every single night broad daylight hour or two after daylight an hour or two before dark they're coming in here and just hammering really proud of how this turned out really happy obviously already got one deer over this um come out here to enhance this though today going to put in a um fence put or uh it's a treated round four uh, like a four by four, eight foot, I'm gonna stick in the ground right here where the beans and the clover meet, and I'm gonna make a mock scrape slash rubbing pole right out here in front of the blind. I'm gonna set up for somewhere between that 20, 25 yard shot. Just trying to take this spot and enhance it even more when you got all this food, and then you got the water hole over there where the youngest is at, and then to the north, just all extremely thick bedding back in there that's where my daughter's deer ran back in and died last weekend just doing anything i can to enhance this and not only that but the way i'm going to set this scrape up is on purpose to help with getting deer broadside right in front of that blind like i said so i'll bring it to you as i get it set up show you what i got going on all righty here it is all set up i'm pretty excited about this not gonna lie so I went with a pine for the lumber just because I know from experience that pine can give off a smell that the deer really like. Especially around here we don't have a lot of pine or spruce or any kind of evergreens. We just got a few but what we do have if they're small they always get rubbed if they can get to them. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll even get a little rubbing on the back side of this pole. Um, the pole was eight foot tall. Now it's about six, maybe just under six foot tall. I put it in the ground a little over two feet. And I also put a half a bag of concrete. Wasn't too worried about making sure it was rock solid. I found a nice oak tree nearby. Was able to trim a really nice branch off of that. I took a shovel and uh, a rake and already started up a mock scrape off of this, this end here. There is multiple branches here the bucks can get to. I would not be surprised if this ends up having two, three scrapes around it on this side. The purpose behind having the branch facing this direction is because of where the blind's located. So now that we've got this scrape faced right here like, like I am, when you turn and look towards the blind there, you see the deer should have his head facing like this, which would set you up with a broadside if not almost perfect broadside shot like i said before we're probably 20 20 22 yards i'm guessing so hopefully you'll be able to see some good film off of this scrape this year i've never done a scrape like this before i like to use vine um scrapes mock scrapes that you hang from existing trees this is a this is a first for me putting something out in the middle of the plot like this so we'll see how it works I am excited. I think it looks really good. I definitely have seen a lot of people do this before and have good success. So we'll see if it translates here in southern Michigan. We'll bring it to you this fall. Also, got the Tacticam reveal on a fence post tucked into the corn stalks here. Right on it. I got a great view. Already checked my uh, pictures. So we'll know here right away if something's using it.